Hi, and welcome to the Buyafetar um, nursery in Sebazan, the foothills of the Pyrenees in the Mediterranean, France. Um, today, I am talking about uh, propagating a, um, a carpet moss um, that is uh, called um, fern moss. And there's little uh, expl explanation needed to explain why we call it fern moss. I think it's pretty, pretty evident because the little tiny branches with its little leaves look very much like um, fern. And uh, this uh, is a high acidity, low light moss that grows um, in uh, generally in forests um, around pine trees. It's um, it it really needs um, the acidity of pine needles to grow and grow through, and it creates quite a thick carpet. Um, and um, I'm. This this moss can be used uh, in model making um, by uh, just taking a, a small piece, and you can you can actually, if you're looking to to have something that looks like a fern in a, in a little model, um, you can uh, put this in glycerin and stabilize it and use it as a tiny little fern for um if you're doing warhammer 40,000 or making little fairy furniture or if you have like doll houses or train model making uh, and you want to create like a little little fern kind of an effect this is a wonderful moss for that it's also great for terrariums and vivariums because it's a thick carpet and if you have any little animals in your vivarium, then it's, it's not easy for them to pull it apart. It'll stay uh, pretty much as a carpet once it's situated. Um, so, um, how to propagate this moss? Um, it needs a quite high acidity um, substrate. Uh, so, uh, what I've done is I've taken uh, pine wood and I've um, uh, soaked it overnight and I've made a layer of that. And then I've taken um, uh, peat moss and I've filled in all the holes around the, the soaked wood. Uh, so we uh, make a, um, a compost um, uh, with uh, pine needles, beech leaves, um, oak leaves and other um, other sort of um, forest uh, forest stuff um, and we uh, compost it um, for about six months because um, you need to compost it because um, whilst things are decomposing um, they could release uh, other chemicals that could actually harm and kill your moss or burn it actually um, so uh, it does need to be composted for for a little amount of time before you put your moss on it just to be sure as it decomposes um, so once you've uh, put your moist wood and your uh, peat moss either a layer of um, uh, the compost the forest compost here and there, there's already bits of moss in it, and uh, so it's already it's already fern moss, so same moss, um, and just make a thin carpet. It doesn't have to be very thick. Um, obviously, this uh, this moss has already grown on the same substrate, so um, and then. You can uh, you can buy this uh, like a carpet of different dimensions from our little Etsy shop. Um, we we sell spore discs as well, so we uh, we capture the spores 
um, and, um, and the mother moss, and we make uh, clay um, discs. Um, and you can either use that and mix it in with the substrate and then uh, uh, make it into a carpet of whatever dimension you need, or you can buy grown moss um, and do what I'm doing now, which is basically propagating it. And um, it's, this is not a bad thing for the moss, uh, just uh, gently uh, taking it apart like this, because um, it, it gives it a chance to, uh, to grow and cushion out again. Um, if you, uh, if you have this moss uh, growing in a terrarium, you'll, you'll see that it'll, it'll take up an amount of space and then it'll just start uh, growing on top of itself. Um, it's, it's actually a, a, good, a good thing for the moss because it's uh, allowing it to, um, to, uh, to, to grow again. It's, it'll stimulate it. There. So very easy uh, carpeting moss to propagate. Um, and uh, um, a very, very nice uh, addition to any kind of moss garden. Um, because you can, you can actually walk on this moss. Once it's a nice thick carpet, um, you can walk on it. It's, it's not going to break apart. Um, it's, quite, it's tough enough um, to, to sit on. Um, and it'll fluff back up again as soon as you leave. Um, you know, it's a really interesting moss to have. It's low light, so it'll grow under trees, specifically pine trees, If you, and not much will grow under pine trees. So it's a good moss to propagate underneath pine trees, uh, so you can fill that out and make it green and beautiful again. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's fern moss. Um... I'll, I'll put a link to our little Etsy shop so you can <clears throat> uh, see uh, all the 50 species, uh, 50 plus species of uh, liverwort uh, moss and uh, lichen that we grow in our little farm. And um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think I've said as much as I can. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and... Um, like if you like, subscribe if you wish to. Got lots of videos coming. Um, and take care from uh, the Brief Hitter Nursery in the foothills of the Pyrenees, Mediterranean, France. Take care. Bye.